I'm still doing some work on One-Eyed Willie, and I was looking down here by my floor and in my rocker panel, and I knew there was a hole there, but I hadn't realized it was quite that big over there. I pulled my floor mat out of here before, and I was going to have a little bit of a look, but then I thought, oh, the floor mat is kind of holding me there, and I figured I'd get this on video. When I pull this open, I don't even know what's in there, but... Alright, there's my rug coming up. Oh my goodness. That's just crazy. Woo-wee. Holy. And we've been sitting in this thing. On the floor. What's left of it? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's just nuts. I guess we're gonna have to do something with that. I'm gonna yank this rug out of the way here and see what I can come up with here to brace this up a little bit. I don't want to be falling through my floor. Probably wouldn't be too nice. Redneck way and just pull that out, out of the way. It's only plastic it bends. Okay. Oh my goodness, we got some more falling mud showers. I didn't need that piece anyway. broken quite a ways up in there. Good foot and a half wide anyway. <laughs> as far as I haven't fallen through already. I knew it was there, I just didn't know how big it was. A nice hunk of mud. So, another piece of steel that looks a little better than the one. I uh, needed to have a bend in, in it right here so that it could go up with the shape of the floor and I want to a little bit bent but not so far. So we'll have to fix that. of the flooring down or back I got it out of the way and now I'm just gonna put my steel plate in there that took a little bit of work in it trying to get it in here but I ended up having to stand it up this way and pull all this back and then slide it underneath the brake pedal first and then drop it down on this end and slide it under the only way I could get it to fit in there, but it's good and solid now. Put the matting back on there and good as new. And it's got a little bit of a sharp corner right here and I'm going to pound that down and maybe even round it off if I can. I'm going to bend it all down nice so that nobody catches their feet on there or it's scraped or whatever. the rug covers it, that should be good. I'm going to screw, screw that plastic down to something yet. So 
So what I did here is I just got a quarter inch extension and just quarter inch socket. I got some screws that I had left over from doing some uh, tin roofing. I even have a rubber seal. That way my floor doesn't leak. These screws are supposed to be self-topping. There we go. Took it a little while. That's a little thicker than the tin that these screws are made for, but... There. Get into something that time. Good as new. Good and solid. Look at the mud you're using. Good. <laughs> Still needs to go on a diet yet. Lose some more mud. <laughs>